everyone. It's Deanna with Deanna's Paper Crafts. And I've um, been spending some time getting to know my new Cricut Explorer and the Cricut Design Space software. And I just thought I would share with you um, the contour feature. Because I was playing with that the other day and thought that um, it might be helpful for some of you. So I'm going to pull my images from the Joys of the Season uh, Cricut cartridge. So I did a search for it. <coughs> and then just as soon as it opens up here. And what I'm going to be making are some Christmas tags. And finish. Okay. So I'm going to be making this one. And this one. And let's see, what other one? Oh, it's not done loading all my images yet. There's another Santa Claus tag that I want. Yeah, this is kind of a cool feature. It when you hover over it, it bring, makes it enlarges the picture so that you can see it, and um, it gives you a little description so you know what you're getting. Oh no, I didn't get one of the. I'll go back and get it in a minute here. Okay, where is that other little guy? use that one. Okay, now let's go back because I've got the wrong one clicked up here. Not sure how I did that. But okay, I want this one. Why is it not clicking? There we go. And I don't want that one. So I can just uncheck it and it won't load. Okay, so now I'm going to insert images to my my um, Cricut mat. And I want to make all of these about three inches in height. So I'm just going to change all these to three. There we go. Now I can Oh, that didn't change. That didn't work. Okay, let's change this to three. This to three. And... Well, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'll do this also. Three inches. Okay, now the one thing that um, you'll notice with these images is they're one layer and the cutout is just a cutout. So if you want to add color to it, like say this um, poinsettia, if you want your poinsettia to be red, um, what you could do is you go into your layers and you can click on the um, in object that you're working on or the image and you can change the color here so say you want to cut it out in white you could do that um, and then what I plan to do actually is to um, add some red behind this one right here and um, so it will be red now the other thing I want to do is I'm going to highlight this image and I'm going to duplicate it. And then what I'm going to do, and I wouldn't necessarily have to do it with this one, um, but what I'm going to do then, you go in here as soon as I can, 
and go into the contour feature right here and I'm going to hide the poinsettia okay so what that does then is gives me I could change this to red my red and then put this behind this and we'll send it backwards and there you go now the other thing I'm going to do is um, make another duplicate of this and I'm going to create a duplicate of this file for these two um, images as well and let's see here duplicate duplicates there we go and I want these <coughs> I'm probably not going to cut this out of blue paper I'm probably going to cut this one out of green paper or red maybe red again and then what I'll do is I'm going to create or change this to green and then I can put this behind here oh. it's much easier for me to do that and move it to the front there we go so then I can layer these and that'll give me um, a, some green holly now the other thing then I could do is create one more and go in and change this one to white and then I could add this also to the back of this Ooh, so I'm going to go ahead and take this one and bring it to the well move it forward there we go so then I can add, put this green one on top of that and the red one to make my tag my gift tag and then I have the color I want for this uh, the ho holly and then also the color or a white background for the places to sign people's names and who the gifts tags are for so I'm going to um, go ahead and get these finished finish these up and this one up now this one um, another fun thing you can do with this one is duplicate it and then you could um, go into the contour and you could hide the Santa and then you could put him right here I need to zoom in a little bit let's see okay edit so this one is x39 and 5.67y and this is 5.67 y and by doing that you should then line up whoop sorry about that these will line up at the bottom down here then what you can do is take this one and hold the control down and select this one and then you can go into your layers and you can weld them and now you would have a card that would or tag that would fold right down the middle. Um, we could add um, a score line to it if we wanted to. Uh, let's see if I can find that score line. I'm going to change this to all images and I'm going to change this to score line. Let's see if it will find that line for me. Here it is. See, score line. So we can take that 
and insert it here, and then we can, we can grab it. Like I said, I'm still learning this score line. Okay. There we go. So then I could add it right here. So it's right down the center of my tag. And see, it'll add the score line for me. So now on this one, when we go to cut it out, you'll see that it's going to score and then cut. So as I said, I will post a picture of the completed tags on my blog. And um, thanks for watching today. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, and I will also post a link to my blog at the end of the video. Thanks very much. Have a great day.